morning talker this morning how long you can go without complaining about something studies show we complain between 15 and 30 times each and every day i'm probably like 30 and 60. okay you know what you complain too so in today's <laughs> curler confessions charlotte today host and life coach colleen odegaard explains how to focus on the positive instead of the negative I confess I complain sometimes. Maybe I complain about the weather. Maybe I complain about the traffic. Maybe it's a person I find annoying. Do you ever complain? Do you find it hard to talk without complaining? It's so easy for us to focus on what we think is wrong or bad. Too much complaining can keep your brain in a state of negativity. And when you're stuck in negativity, it's hard to make any real changes in your life, in your relationships, in your career. Plus, people who complain all the time are kind of a buzzkill, don't you think? I mean, are you dying to hang out with that guy? Not so much. Catch yourself complaining and stop it. And people don't want to help you if you complain all the time. So if you can train yourself to think more positively, you'll feel differently and you'll take different actions. So are you up for the challenge? See if you can make it through the day without complaining. It's Lent. I'm just saying. Give it up. I gave up boys. We talked about that already. I think maybe complaining would be better. Uh, seriously, though, I know it sounds like psychological, like mumbo jumbo, but it's very easy to fall into ruts where you complain about everything. We yeah. all do it. We've all done it. But it really does have an impact on your mood, the mood of the people around you. You got to stop it. So you're complaining about people complaining? Absolutely. All right.